is real here. Um, I'm sure you know, three years ago, I almost died. My heart failed in the hospital. I didn't realize that I needed to have another heart. Because I have to wait, I have to use a pump. It was an LVAD and I had batteries and I had to use a bag everywhere. Um, it was hard but I was still alive and I was waiting for another heart. For this last year when we were getting ready to going into another year I really wanted to have a word from God to my life for this year and he gave it to me I'm sure you can see it I got it and I came to church and I danced and danced and danced so glad that you know, I, I, I felt that this year would be a fantastic year with me and my family. So I came home and I slept on just one week. I wanted to sleep um, July Almost two in the morning, my phone rang and they told me to come to the hospital that I would get another heart. Now, this was the second time um, they called me in the, for the, for the um, almost July, um, but the heart wasn't good for me so I didn't have the surgery so when they called me I said you know what I'm not going to get excited I'm just going to come to the hospital I called my husband we prayed with the children had my bath got my ba my, my bag prayed and I went to the hospital by myself my husband left me um, that was the day that there was problems with the capital and I was just looking at the um, I was looking at what was going on I had to had I had to have a lot of tests COVID to make sure that I was fine to get ready for the surgery going into that room and I was seeing all those <laughs> to cut my body. I was very, very scared. But I knew that God loves me. So I tried not to get, um, just think about it. I just said, well, I'm there. So I prayed about it and of course um, I was gone. Um, I just know that God always loves me and he has my back, you know. And then I remembered about that word. I, 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 I actually forgot. And I realized that it was just one month, one week. It wasn't even once. I mean, it, it was so sudden. Look at God. <laughs> then I was in the... NICU, I think I was still, I think I was there but not really there for almost four days. People were calling. I was scared. I thought they didn't even, I didn't think they did the surgery. 
because I was using a lot of medication and I was I wasn't really really there I remember calling Fako even Pastor G to say please pray for me I think I'm going to I'm going to die in fact I, I said it a lot to my husband um, and I remember Fako told me we will pray thank God they didn't stop. When I was in the hospital, they didn't stop. I remember I said, I'm going back to a good um, room. And I was just getting better every day. Walking, using my medication. And I was in the hospital by myself. Nobody could come. Even my husband couldn't. But he used to get dinner every day. I wouldn't see him, but he would send it to me from the, from the, from the house. Every day. Nice guy. <laughs> I'm home now. And I'm happy. There's nothing like seeing your family. I've been home for almost one week staying home in my bed eating my own food just chilling and it's getting better every day I believe that the retreat was for me because God has helped me I am restored in the mighty name of Jesus. God has been good in my life and he's been faithful in my life. I just want you to know that I am going to serve him for the whole of my life. Thank you, God. You are, you're too faithful to fail me.